I appreciate your takes and teaching me about the Quran. I do want to, to ask you, what makes Islam right and not Catholics or Christians or Buddhists or Jews? Why is theology the correct way when so many died for Zeus, Athena? And even way before Islam and Christians were a thing, the Romans believing in Jupiter and Mars and Diana, why are they wrong and you are right? Okay, so this is a comment five days ago by someone. I'm not sure what's the religion of this guy. It's not directly indicated here, but the question is, okay, so you are, you, you are presenting from your perspective, from the Quranic perspective, right? Um, but I want to know what makes Islam correct and the rest is not correct or false. But what makes you conclude that? So that's basically or essentially the question. And I just want to go through my answer. Uh, I'm not saying this is the best answer that I could give. Get, I, I could give, but this, this was my answer, and just want to record it here as well. Um, if anyone want to comment on that, so so I'll just go through my personal answer. Thank you for the comment and question to give an outline as how I come to the final conclusion of Islam is correct, the rest is not, right? First, I address the question as to whether the universe is created. So from my perspective, this is the first question that need to be answered. Is the universe created? Is there a creator? Because if the conclusion of or the answer to this question goes different ways, so if you answer yes, it goes to a different trajectory and if you answer no then nothing is correct <laughs> because you know any claim that says Islam claims there's a creator I, I created you I revealed this Quran Christian says that Jesus God created blah 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 Ju um, Judaism says creator and if this question the universe is it created you said no then by that line of logic all of these three is gone already, right? So this is the first question to ask. Is it, is it really created? Is the universe created, right? From the observation of the world, I concluded that the universe must be created. Hence, there's a creator. So that's the first answer that I have got, I have reached, right? So from my observation, obviously, logically, there must be a creator. So I have given the link to meaning what is the narrative and what the, is the question that I answer to reach to that point to reach to the conclusion that sure confirm logically there must be a creator so it's a, a video that you can watch based on this conclusion the possible true religion is filtered down to the religion that teach about a creator of the universe so based on that line of thought once I concluded that for sure there's a creator so looking at the options of religion the options now left is the the religion that claims that it comes from the creator so basically mainly this islam christianity and judaism if you go to uh, some philosophy that uh, uh, that claim to be from a, a, a human being originator and he never even attached to the creator etc so that's already filtered out from that line of thought right other religion that don't even claim the same conclusion as its core teaching is filtered out. Hence, the f from the first point, when I have concluded that there's a creator, the options just become these three mainly. If you want to uh, add on Shia or you know various sect of Christianity, you can. But mainly, you can say that Islam, Christianity, and Judaism. So that's number one. Number two, I go and evaluate the core belief of each the core belief that is taught, as well as the book that claim to be the book from the Creator. So, these three major religions have a claim about the Creator and have a claim about um, the book, holy book, that originate from the Creator. The detailed um, claim is different, like the Quran claim to be literal word of God. Um, Bible claims is different, like, meaning um, written by portion of it at least, written by human being that is inspired by God. Uh, etc right but still mainly there's a book that is claiming to be 
either directly from God or inspired by God, etc. That teach what God want to teach. Right, so I evaluate the core belief and I evaluate the book. From okay, so here from the belief perspective, from just seeing okay, um, without looking at the book, etc. First, present what is the core belief. So from the belief perspective, Christianity comes across to be having a core belief that is not in line with logic. Hence, it is practically filtered out. So this is my journey. When I look at okay, triune God, whatever that is, <laughs> I, I cannot bring it. It doesn't seem logical. So basically, from that point, it's already filtered out from my perspective. On the holy book claim to be from the Creator, the Quran holds up to have the characteristics of something that is actually from the Creator, while the Bible does not come across as something that would actually be from the Creator, both from its claim of origin as well as its content. Right. So that's how I evaluated it. So with that. Only Islam is the only option that is logical from the Creator, and hence I accept it as the truth. Now I didn't elaborate much about Judaism here because I think most probably because the the viewers that I have is either Muslim or mainly Christian. Um, from Judaism, if I understand correctly, is so. So if any that follow Judaism here, and you detect that I understand it differently. Or wrongly feel free to comment but from what I understand where Judaism have a claim of you know it it is for for a specific lineage or race hence that for me that's already like okay that doesn't make sense how can God favor only one group of people because of something that you cannot choose lineage right um, race and you become a chosen people and others are not so and from that teaching as well i i'm already excluded so why should i consider that so from the core belief as well uh, it is also filtered out but if you are you know believing in judaism and you see that i understand it wrongly feel free to comment feel free to share now when something is from the creator differ to other sources then i'm convinced that it is the truth while other false other sources is false so Having concluded those two main main thing, one is there's a creator, then second Islam is from the creator. Having that concluded conclusively, afterwards on other details, if Quran says this because it's from the creator, so I believe that you know the creator knows, we don't know, so I believe so if there's a difference, right? So, uh, so that's how I believe in whatever the Quran says. I hope this gives you the idea of the reasoning process that I went through to reach the conclusion that Islam is the truth. As an additional point, when you stated before Islam, in Islam, Islam started with the first human being, which is Adam, who is the first prof prophet of God. Because in the comment he says that prior to Islam, prior to Christianity, there's something else, Zeus, Athena, whatever, right? So from Islamic perspective, you know, um, if you define okay so Muhammad is the last prophet of God and all the teachings sent to every single prophet from Adam Noah Sulaiman Ibrahim Jesus Muhammad all of them are from the Creator all of them are the truth and each of them teach to submit to one God which is Islam in the Arabic word which is submission to the Creator hence Islam all throughout from Adam until Muhammad Sallallahu until the end of time any anyone that follows the teaching of all these prophets and submit to one God, they are Muslim, those who commit Islam, which is submission to one God. So there's no such thing as before Islam. Of course, before Muhammad, yes, but before Islam, no such thing. Because Islam doesn't start with Muhammad. Muhammad is the last and final prophet, not the only prophet with a new teaching. So that's my response and hopefully if you are interested why I concluded this is essentially the line of uh, the, the line of thoughts basically the, uh, yep so um, feel free to comment how you reach your conclusion meaning is it similar or is it totally different in terms of the chronological of question that you ask and answer or the line of thoughts feel free to comment feel free to share thank you for watching see you next time